Hey, I'm going to grind a high-speed steel tool for a small diameter work on that axle sun. On some materials, high-speed steel works much better than carbide. I've got my uh, safety stuff here for the safety police. And I'm going to show the way I grind high-speed steel that I think is a lot better. I uh, don't use a bench grinder. I use an angle grinder. Just a lot like this. Get that in there tight. I get that first angle in my tower head. It's a lot cooler, I think, doing it this way, and uh, quite a bit more control. Grinding rest that uh just a bad word I think. Okay. I'm gonna polish it a bit with this one here. You can take a more by stick and press it if you want to. Now let's just cut off here, yeah, you gotta be careful. Okay, I'm locking this in. Yeah, that's about right there. Now I gotta get a, a break angle on that other side. Now, if you want to finish it on the tool power grinder, you just simply remove uh, the bulk of the material. So I'll use the hand rest I have on that uh, grinder over there to uh, do the final product. I might be a little more clear. This piece of high-speed steel is a uh, World War II surplus of exceptional quality. Just about that back here. Oh, I look good.
Yeah, roughing in that. I'm going to do that a little bit more there. I hope you're all doing good this morning. I thought I'd check in. <laughs> what do we got for time here? It's not taking very long. Okay, I'm going to cut a chip uh, groove in this thing, and I will be back. Okay, I'm going to put a groove as a chip breaker in this high-speed steel tool. I'll get the, uh, the old board I'm going here. Just gonna start working it in. Almost got it. I'm gonna take and hit this norbite here, get that nice and round. That is looking pretty good. I'm going to bring that groove to the edge and then grind over from the side to get that really sharp. I'm going to try to kind of polish it a little bit here. That should be good. Okay. Okay, let's spin her up. Okay, this is what I roughed out with the hand grinder. So I'm just going to finish it up a little bit here. So you got to bring that over to the group, and I just about got it. I think I like that angle, and I'm going to finish it up here. Yeah, that's sharp. See, I'll take it home now. Okay, I'll get the end here. Oh no. 
Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, I'll take and uh, stone the edges and we'll try it on the machine. All right, I'm working with the uh, front lever operated collar detachment on this axis in here. Um, I have to do a few different things when you're working with an old gearhead lathe that doesn't have the high speeds like the Monarch 10AA. Now I'm, I've got some material in here, it's not the best. It's some salvage uh, material similar to 12L. It, uh, it's hard to get a good finish on, on materials like that, so I went to a high speed steel tool. Let's see how it does. Okay, we'll get over here and get you mounted up on the... Okay, let's see how this does. Here's the uh, the high-speed steel tool with the chip breaker that I fabricated here. We'll get that in the KDK holder. Got some wax here. Made up a whole bunch more. I found that lard's not good. Lard oil is a better uh, alternative than lard. Lard and bacon grease, uh, I don't want to use that. Um, I've got a lot of uh, tab magic in here, and uh, we'll see how it does. That's beeswax and castor molly D and uh, dark thread cutting oil. Okay. just under three thousandths and I'm going to run this tool in at about fifteen thousandths depth we'll touch it off okay we'll dial in thirty we'll give it about fifteen thousand let's see if we can get a good looking cut That's pretty reasonable. This type of material likes to tear a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna kick it up into the highest speed of 1127. It's not too bad for this stuff. Let's get a little better surface finish um, at uh, 849. I'm going to try it at, at a, a speed slower at 628, I think it is. Yeah, I'll try 628. Dial it in uh, the same 
15,000 steps. Here it goes. Okay, looks like um, 628 and 849 provide the best surface finish. And that's where I start on things, is getting the best surface finish. And again, this is some material that doesn't like to finish very well, and it looks good. Okay, I will be back.